Hello FlossTube, I'm Nicole and welcome to Dee Dee's FlossTube number 20. Hello everybody, it is a Wednesday, January 8th. It has been a whirlwind of a week for me. So if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for um, joining us today. Today's video is all about cross stitch. So if that's something that you like, then grab a cuppa and stick around. We're gonna have a little bit of a chat about what I've been up to, what I've received in the mail and what my going forward plans are. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining us again. I really do appreciate you being here. And don't forget, if you haven't yet um, subscribe to the channel hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon and then that way you won't miss out on any of our little chats that we have or tutorials that I put up so for those that are new here this is a multi craft channel and as I said today's video is all about cross stitch alrighty so what have I been up to for the last week since the last time you see me I have been refining my plans really trying to wrap my head around our school of magical stitches I have been kidding up stuff I have got a ton of, of projects that I want to start. January and February are probably going to be the months that I do a lot of starts. Um, and that might scare some people, but it doesn't scare me because I've got everything planned, how I want it to go, what I'm going to be focusing on. And um, these are things that I've wanted to start that I've had sitting there for a while. So I've started kidding them up um, slowly but surely, not all at one time. Um, but yeah, so I've just been trying to navigate the world of School of Magical Stitches and Literature. Um, I think I'm getting my head around it. But um, it's been very exciting and I've hit the ground running. Um, and I haven't been playing catch up though. I've just hit the ground running and, and I've been asking the right questions and getting the answers that... Um, that I need and, and all the rest of it and all the admins and everything are absolutely um, fabulous over there. So they've been helping me out, which is really good. Watching Virtual Stitches, uh, their latest homework talk really um, helped sync a lot of uh, ideas in and all that sort of stuff. So now I sort of know how to allocate charts and everything like that. Worked out the whole double dipping thing and everything like that as well. So it has been a big, big learning curve, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> Time will tell. Um, I've had lots of progress and I'm really happy with the progress that I've made and it is all down to these challenges. So let's get into what I've been up to since last Wednesday. Um, so yeah, so I put up my video last week. They had uh, just put up, I had a couple of new starts for the new year and everything like that that I was going to start. Um, I stitched in the new year as I said and then I basically hit the ground running in School of Magical Stitches and the first one was that we, as a collaboration so the group so I'm in the beach club we had to stitch so many different uh, so many stitches to reach a goal and then the ticket booth were open so it's like building the park so um, we had to build a few things so I've got a few notes here and we'll um, get into that in a little bit more detail but while I'm talking about that, while doing that, I've actually had my first finish for 2020. So it's this cute little chart that um, I got. It was a free one from Hands On Design. It's uh, with you, I, I am home. And I have stitched it all out and I've added it to, oops, added it to the tally. Um, there was 215 stitches in this one. And basically, as you can see, I've done it a little bit different than the chart. And I don't know, for some reason, I've put the chart somewhere and I don't know where I've put it. So um, I've done the chart a little bit different. There was some brackets around you. I left them out and there was um, a line underneath here and I've left that out as well. And I've added some of these buttons that I had here because they've just been floating around. So I've got a little bird up there, a little flower on the house. In the original pattern it had a heart on there so I've put a flower and popped a flower on there and they were just left over from some kits that I had so I thought oh, I'll just use them so that is my first finish and now I have to fully finish it I'm still debating how I'm going to do it whether I'm going to do it the same as the pattern or whether I'm going to actually do it a little bit different um, so yeah that's my first finish and I'm super excited to get it to be a fully finish as well so back to the building of the park um, as I said, this is part, that's been part of it, so I stitched on that. But I have actually now 
uh, chosen to have a singular pattern and that is the new start that we had last week and I'm just going to grab it and that's the sale that we've got going on on Instagram for Ink Circles Tapestry and that's the beautiful chart I just absolutely love this chart um, and it's been an absolute pleasure to stitch it so starting last week we had to um, as I said build the ticket booth um, which I started doing this one and this is the progress that I've had that's also the monorail frontier land and the ferry Disney ferry boat so um, and they had all different amounts of stitches so the first one I think was a hundred the next two were the monorail and the um, the ferry boat they were 50 stitches each then frontier land was 150 and that's what I've got stitched so it, it using one project for it is actually working out really well because I'm making good progress on it so the next one that um, we're building is Cinderella's castle and that's what that little um, chart went on and I've got a couple of others that are going on there as well as this one as well so I'm able to use the one chart and I've just got to take stop uh, start and stop pictures of each one and I can't double dip the stitches so I can't use the stitches here that I've stitched here for something else so that's the progress on that I'm really 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 happy with that progress so that's what I sort of started with and then um, on the Wednesday afternoon or the Thursday morning um, I was told that the um, homework had gone up for the weekend it was only a short week so they didn't have a lot of um, homework going on they just had one thing and we had to pick a character from the book which the book we're reading is Disney After Dark because it's all based around Disney this year um, and so basically I picked out um, oh, what was his name? Philby yeah, because he was a genius and I had the perfect chart for that which I thought fit the genius um, category just perfectly it was a chart that I wanted to start at some stage this year before next Christmas and I'm going to turn it into a cushion and the chart is called come on in and it, as I said it's a Christmas one and it's got Merry Christmas written on it and it's in 18 different languages so I thought that that feel, fit the bill really well um, I did how many stitches did I do on this one I can't remember now on this one I think it was 250 stitches I did on this one I do have it written down uh, just not in front of me so I was pretty happy with how it went um, I changed the colors up I didn't use the call for colors because I'm just trying to use the stuff that I've got here and I had some 28 count even weave and I used this thread here which is called weight manor and it is cottage garden um, threads so you can see there it's a nice variegated thread and then what I did is I grabbed out all of my uh, week's dye works that I've got and I pulled out four colors which I thought matched the thread pretty good and those are the colors that I'm going to do the rest of the cushion in two of them are very similar in color I'm still deciding which one I'm going to to use out of two and maybe add another green in maybe still yet so I'll just see how I go as it progresses but they're gorgeous colors so one is Liberty is the red one monkey grass is the green and then I've got um, marmalade for it's like a brownie orange and then I've got a orangey yellow which is called day lily um, they're, they're very similar in color on the camera but they they do have a nice variegation for both of them so they are now going to be allocated to that and some of you probably noticed that I had that in a Q-snap um, yeah I'm giving it a go I'm still not really liking it but I'm getting the hang of holding it that and that's been the problem I felt really uncoordinated so the smaller one seems to be working okay I can sort of just rest it in my hand and I can stitch away and that's fine so as you can see I'm getting a lot of stitches in and I have been keeping a running tally of what I've um, done in the last week and I'm going to show you a little bit later on that one all right so then I had two new starts um, in the next couple of days so on the 1st of um, January I had the tapestry start but I also had a um, haid that I wanted to start as well so the and I don't know where I've put my picture but I'll put a picture up here it's called Autumn Queen and I got a start on it 
and I've got just over um, 500 stitches in on that one so not much to look at at the moment but it will get better I've put this one in a Q-snap and I'm going to give it a go on a Q-snap I was holding it in a, a little round hoop um, if you followed me on social media you would have seen that I had a little uh, turquoise uh, hoop on there and that was working pretty well but I'm going to give it a go with this um, bigger Q-snap so I can just leave it in there and just keep charging along. My plan for this is to actually use this for a task um, in School of Magical st Stitches and wholly and solely just use it for that because there's a huge amount of stitches and it's a year long thing so I can I can pretty much just focus on that and uh, get at least 700 stitches in this a week. That is my goal um, and I will give a good nudge at that that challenge and um, yeah and this will get some good progress over the years so at the moment I've just had a start on it and starting this week um, I will be actually doing a hundred stitches every day in this and that will be my morning routine so that's gonna get some loving all week so I'm pretty happy um, that I've I'm starting now to set routine down and I'm also able to um, use it for School of Magical Stitches at the same time. So I was pretty happy about that. All right, then on the, um, on the 4th of January, I'm just trying to think of my dates. I haven't written them down. So um, I'm, get, I'm just still trying to get used to all the writing down and all that sort of stuff. So on the 4th, I started a another haid, crazy, I know, two haids in like two days I started. Uh, just a small start. And this one's got 344 stitches in it. And um, I'm actually color blocking instead of parking or working on the diagonal. I just want to try something different. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'll just I'll go to parking or whatever. Um, so I'm just using, like, I've got my page and then I'm just finding all that color. And both the charts I've got are working really well for that because, there's a, as you've seen, there's a lot of color together in the Autumn Queen and this one is also the same. So this one is called Hubble Bubble and it's uh, artwork by Lisa Parker and it's charted by hey, um, Heaven and Earth Designs. So this is the one that I started. I'm using this one for extra credit as well um, in School of Magical Stitches because we had to pick an element and we've got a whole month to do this. Um, so it's got 310 stitches, isn't it? Not 344. And I picked this one because of the stone. So we had sun, stone, cloud, or wind. And I picked this one because it had stone. And I got 310 stitches in it. And I'll probably try and get a few more stitches into that as well. Again, I'm going to try and um, do this every day. Whether it's 50 or 100 stitches in it, I don't know. Um, I'll see how I go with that. And I may end up taking a leaf out of... Um, Erin from Two Martini Stitches. She's got two hates going at the moment and she's alternate, uh, doing one one week and then doing one the next week. So I might end up doing that as well because that's a pretty good idea. So that is the, um, the chart that I'm doing and that's the progress that I've made. So as you can see, I'm just sort of color blocking at the moment. It seems to be working and my stitches are uh, two over one and... Um, I actually like the coverage I did one strand over one and I didn't like the coverage and I did 10 stitch on both of them and I didn't like the coverage so I've actually gone for um, two over over one and I'm really liking the coverage on that so and people did say that that would happen that you would um, start you will have a plan and then you'll start to think a bit different because it's not sitting right or anything like that and I'm just stitching both my haids on the recommended fabric which is 25 count um, easy grid so that's what I'm working on and the coverage is really good on it now so I'm happy with it I had a bit of a play had a little piece and I just did not like the coverage as as a tent stitch because um, that's originally what I was going to do with Hubba Bubble I was going to do tent stitch and um i just didn't like coverage i just i didn't like it um it, maybe if it was three strands but the, you know you're heading into a lot of floss then if you're doing three strands it may have looked a bit better if it was a higher count it would have looked great um but if it was like a um a 28 or even a 32 count it, a 32 count would have looked brilliant as a 10 stitch but um yeah i it's a big piece and yeah i just 
I want to do it right basically for my taste and, and that's what I've done. So that was um, some extra credit and you'll hear a lot in the, the coming 12 months, you'll hear homework, extra credit, um, individual ultimate challenges and all that sort of stuff because um, of School of Magical Stitches, you, they use all those terminologies. So that's what I'm talking about. These are just, they've given you a, um, a prompt and you basically check what prompt you're going to do and then you've got so many stitches to do so this is one i had to do 300 stitches so i did 310 um that was just to finish out the floss basically it was an extra 10 stitches then um i so homework got rolled around and i think it went up on sunday our time and we couldn't start it till monday so we've got all our um different things there that we can we can pick pick from and um, I've made my choices and so you'll get to see them next week so homework's pretty done been done and I've just been working on my extra credit and um, I'm hoping to start the book this weekend which will be good um, the extra other extra credit that I did I had to stitch something with a moon in it and this was the Halloween Quaker and I'll get so much more used to talking about all this I'm a little bit all over the shop because I'm still trying to wrap my head around it so I apologize if I'm a little bit confusing today so this has got a moon in it and I absolutely love this one this is one of my focus pieces this this year and um, I had to put 300 stitches into this one and last time you've seen this uh, I had done that centerpiece in there I'd done one of the motifs down here and I'd done that motif there and then for the extra credit this week I have done these two here which equated to 300 and something stitches because it was a little bit more because I had a stem to do as well so I got all of that done so that's another one checked off and I've got two more to go with the extra credit on that one. And then um, we had the, as I said, we've been building the park and I had another one that I wanted to do. It was a little free chart from Plum Street Samplers and this, this is not finished yet, but it's getting pretty close. And as I said, it's a free chart, so I can show you the chart. That's the chart, Little Lovebirds. Okay, um, I am not doing them in the quad four colours. I, I got some silks for you in the sassy pouch and I subsequently had signed up for their, um, and I think I showed you these last week, I signed up for their thread of the month and I got a heap of different colours that had come in, in like maroons and pinks and whatnot. So I basically thought, well, I'm going to try stitching with silk because I've never done that before. And... I must say it's lovely to stitch with I had a great time stitching with it on Sunday I put in a th over a thousand stitches um, in two projects so that was pretty good and this is my project so this is I started this on Sunday and this is how far I got that's how much I enjoyed stitching with the silk and you can see the variegation in that it is super cute um, I'm just going to turn this into a little pillow for in a bowl that sits on my dressing table um, yeah, I just think it's cute like it's it's nice so I've just got half of the bird in his tail to go and then that's it and I will be adding that to the Cinderella castle because we're building that at the moment and I think we need over 400 stitches collectively so it works out that each that I think there's about 90 people when I checked last um, 90 or 91 people when I checked last doing it, it works out to be roughly 4,000 to four and a half thousand depending how many people we've got there um, stitches so to move on and open the next part and frontier frontier land i can't remember how much that was but um yeah we're, we're slowly chipping away at it and it's and we've got the whole year to do it like we don't have to do it in a week or a month or anything like that um just as we get it done the next part will open up and um and then basically we'll have more stitches to do so i've got a couple of little charts that i'm adding into that um the I am home one from hands on design and lovely you from Plum Street Sampler was two that I wanted to do this week so that's why I've got them in and I've got a finish from it so it's absolutely amazing that um yeah that you can get that sort of progress just from doing a few simple challenges and stuff like that so um I the plans that I've got going forward for this week are basically um, working more on my challenges, finishing off my extra credit, starting the books um, on the weekend, 
as I said, I, I, well, I started, I only read one page, but it's on my um, tablet. My tablet's too big to read on, so um, I've got the books coming. I've got a new a couple of new starts for um, homework this week as well. Um, I've picked out all my charts, so you'll get to see them next week. So I've managed to do one chart for two um, of the prompts, so that's going to be awesome. So that'll be almost finished as well. And on Sunday is my big day of, of stitching, where I don't do anything but stitch. I should, if I get, get it started um, in the next couple of days, I should have that finished on Sunday with any luck. Not fully finished, but at least finished. And it's super cute. I can't wait to show you. It's absolutely awesome. Um, so this week I've got, I'm gonna, as I said, I'm going to work a little bit more on extra credit. So I'll be starting, I showed you last week, the um, Mandela Elephant. That's getting started today and tomorrow I'm starting the Storm one. Now I've got until the end of January to do those. So I thought I'd get a start and get a few stitches in um, tonight and tomorrow night and then that way I can focus a little bit more on um, the tapestry to put some stitches in for Cinderella. Uh, Cinderella's Castle and get that all underway so I don't fall behind. All right, so that is everything that I have done this week. All my whips and my plans and everything moving forward. As I said, it has been a hectic week. I have hit the ground running. I do have a folder with everything in it, so a lot of people uh, are probably wondering how I'm keeping track of it. It's not a very exciting folder. Um, I'm using the 24 hours of cross stitch. Um, journal and I'm just printing off the pages as I need them and I'm just popping it in this I got it I'm gonna look at um, actually covering this it's got pockets on the inside so I can um, have my diary and all that sort of stuff there I've also started to on my Facebook page I've actually started as of today creating albums for some of my bigger pieces and also my smaller pieces and that will have all the information there um, they are public al albums so you'll be able to see them even if you just follow me and basically um, they have all the information about the chart what I'm stitching on and I'll be adding the colors that I'm using and all that sort of stuff so at the moment I've got my Hades up there and my Halloween Quaker I still have to add the the threads and everything to that but I'm slowly starting to organize and it's really good because then I don't have to flick through you know hundreds of pictures on Instagram I'll just have an album there dedicated to that one chart and I'll be able to see the progress as I'm going throughout the year so last week I said I had the goals of getting 20 um, to 30 finishes at least um, I'm on my way for that I've already got one and I'm gonna have another one probably next week maybe two so I'm definitely on um, par for that so I'm super excited about that but I've also been doing some shopping I am trying to use what threads I have here and um, all the rest of it but I was when was it it was must have been just after Christmas I was on virtual stitches and stitching away and Lisa was talking about her um, hawk run um, hollow chart that she was doing and it was the village of hawk run well that came in and I can't remember whether I showed you last week but I've actually I'm going to show you again anyway that is the chart this is now going to be um, they started that at the beginning of the year I was waiting for my chart obviously because I ordered it um, at Christmas time it came in lightning speeds thanks to um, Journey of a Stitcher Nicole who I've been stitching with on virtual stitches which I stitched with her the other night that was quite nice um, I was very quiet the other night because I was quite tired but um, hopefully next time we can have a little bit more of a chat but um, there was a few people on as well and a lot of them were talking about homework and stuff so it was quite interesting um, so I'm actually going to have this as my leap year start because we've got a leap year this year and I'm going to start it on the 29th of January so I've set that down but I got um, I ordered my fabric as well and I'm super super excited about the choice now when I looked at it I liked it on the computer and I wasn't too sure about it but I thought oh what the hell I'll just get it I'll use it for something I can use it for ornaments or something along those lines but check this out okay, I don't know if you can see it or not but oh my goodness I just absolutely love it this side might be a bit better bring it back a bit and you can see the variegation so that's like a, um, a sandy color and then it's got the cream and it's absolutely gorgeous and I also got my threads and just to show you what it's going to look like there's a lot of dark colors in this um, a lot of autumny colors and I think that's why I'm drawn to it hopefully I can hold this up but that is going to look absolutely stunning against that fabric so I'm super pumped I've got all 53 or 54 flosses 
and I've got my fabric now I've got the chart and I'm ready to go so I'm super excited to be starting that for my leap year and then basically if I can fit it into challenges as I will but every um, month that rolls around on the 29th that's what I'm going to be stitching so um, I've been watching Lisa on virtual um, stitches and she's been able to she's been able to incorporate a lot of um, the challenges into this chart so I'm hoping to do that and the plan is to do one block a month so I'm pretty sure I can get that done if I can um, especially if I can get it into challenges and all that sort of stuff so after all that stitching and all of that um, all that setting up I've got kits and stuff that I already had here so I had fabric and everything that I've shown you in previous videos so I've got all those kitted up um, but that's pretty much all that I've had come in um, thus far this week and so some of you might be wondering how many stitches that I've actually done since Wednesday last week and it's pretty good for me because as you know I'm just a beginner and um, this is the first time I've ever done challenges and I do get in and have a good bash on Saturdays and Sundays and during the week I don't get a lot of stuff done but these challenges are really helping me to meet my goal of stitching every day and also to um, get a good bash in at each one that I do so I tallied up everything as of um, last night I tallied everything up and I have actually done 3,554 stitches which equates to around 27 hours of stitching time um, I did eight hours on Sunday because that's pretty much all I done the family were off doing stuff that they want to do like gaming um, Savannah was reading all day Mia was playing with her swings and stuff like that and in and out and just talking to me and Brendan was out and about doing stuff um, so yeah I managed to get a good eight hours in on Sunday so I was pretty happy with that and made really good progress and that's where I worked on the lovely um, lovely you and so I'm really happy with that amount of stitching like a couple of hours a night that's that's pretty good and I've been on average like I've been writing down each each day what I've been doing um, so on Wednesday of last week I've done 376 stitches and then Thursday was pretty much the same Friday I did 646 Saturday I did 514 because again I have more time and then on Sunday I did um, 1070 Monday uh, I only did 256 and then on last night I did 315 and two hours of stitching so um and Qua the Quaker one's really really quick to stitch like in two hours I did that I was pretty amazed so I had an early night I spent about an hour after that just kidding up stuff that I'm going to be starting in the next week or two so yeah I'm really really happy with the progress and how these challenge groups are working out and if it's something that interests you all the links are down below head over it's not too late to join um come and join the fun of virtual stitches as well and they've got a video um, that they put out each week talking about the homework so if you're getting stuck for ideas you can always go and watch them it really made the the penny drop so to speak for um, for me when I watched it this week it, it made a lot more sense to me um, and also being in the group and, and starting to stitch and all the rest of it because prior to that I wasn't stitching anything so I wasn't sure if it was all going to fit and also writing everything down that I've got here and also the stuff that I wanted to start because I am only new I didn't have a lot of starts like I had a few but not that many last year so I always, I knew once I joined this challenge group that January and February are definitely going to be a lot of starts for me I think I've got 18 set down um, I had 18 set down I only have 17 now because I've managed to incorporate um, two of the prompts into one chart so and I've got one finished so I'm pretty excited about that but that is about it for me this week a short and sweet video because um, I have a lot to do and I want to get stuck into some more stitching and um, yeah so that's it for me so thanks again for joining me I really do hope that you enjoyed your time here with me today and if you're new here and you've stuck around this long hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon and that way you won't miss out on any future posts again thank you so much for joining me have a great week, everybody, and happy stitching, and I'll see you all again next week. Bye for now.